Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have a drugstore tutorial for you. I use some of my favorite drugstore products and I created a look that I think is very easy, uh, daytime appropriate, something that would be easy for someone who isn't into wearing a ton of makeup or who's just starting into makeup because I'm using one of the Wet n Wild trios. They're affordable and they come with really great colors. This one is the Walking on Eggshells, which is a very nice, neutral, everyday palette. That I think would complement a lot of different people. So I just came up with a really easy look. There's not much to it. I used all drugstore products from my face products to even down to brushes uh, in this tutorial. It's a full face look, so I'm just going to get started. If you're interested in seeing some of my drugstore favorites in action, nice, simple, easy look using this Wet n Wild trio, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off this tutorial using the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. This is in the color Radiant. I'm just kind of putting this under my eyes and using my ring finger to pat it in. I found this tutorial uh, probably a month ago, so excuse the roots before I got my hair done. And I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Age Rewind. This is the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is just in the color Light. It's the concealer shade. And I just put that right on top to cancel out my dark circles. I don't know why I did this before my foundation today but I did. So for my foundation I'm using L'Oreal True Match foundation. This is in N3 Natural Buff and I'm using this Real Techniques buffing brush. It's a really light foundation, easy to wear and it does look very natural and I do find that this color matches my skin tone. So for my eyes I'm using this base from Milani. It's in Sand Dunes. These shadow eyes are amazing. I love them so much. They stay forever. I'm just putting that all over my lid and then under my lash line. I'm using the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells trio. I love this. I'm patting that first shade, the lightest, like pinky shade, all over my lid. And they are labeled, so this is called the lid shade. So just pat it all over your lid. Then I'm going in with this mid-tone brown color. It does have shimmer in it, which is the only thing. I'm not used to putting shimmer in my crease, but I did like the way that the look came out when the two shimmer colors kind of mixed together. So just go ahead and run that through your crease, and then I'm going to take the same brush that we used to apply that lid color, and I'm taking the highlight, the brow shade, brow bone shade in the trio, and I'm putting that under my brow bone and in my inner corners. Then taking this brown liner from Jane Cosmetics, it's waterproof, water resistant. I love this shade because it's a deep chocolate brown. I'm putting that in my waterline and then I'm tight lining with it as well. Now to blend that all out, I'm going to be using this shade from the palette, the crease color, and I'm just going to run that under my lash line and really just push it into your lash line and then I'm going to use the brush to blend it out. I like this angle brush from Real Techniques. It works really well um, to blend as well as lay the color down. Now for my liner, I'm using Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner in Black and I'm just doing a very thin winged out liner on my upper lash line. This is optional but I just thought it was, this is a really easy liner to use if you are wanting to create a wing. For my mascara, I'm using Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. I think this gives a lot of great volume to my lashes, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a few coats of that. For bronzer, I'm using Milani's Baked Bronzer in Sunset. This is one of their matte baked bronzers. I really do love this bronzer, and it blends in really nice to the skin because it is one of the mineral baked bronzers. For blush, I'm using Wet n Wild Heather Silk Blush. I'm patting this on my cheeks rather than rubbing it because it just really needs a little bit. And then to top it off, I'm using the Maybelline Master Highlight in Nude for a little bit of a sheen. For my lips, I'm going in with one of my favorites, Maybelline Make Me Pink, and this Color Elixir in Petal Blush. Everyone, so that is the finished look for my drugstore tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple and easy look. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.